What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the Liverpool career mode with a brand new episode and I'm super excited because this episode is going to be a cracker. We will have the January transfer window or what's left of the January transfer window with transfer deadline day. So guys, if you enjoy these episodes, leave a like and let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to have music during the episodes or no music is preferred? for you guys and maybe just put music uh, when the goals happen which is the more entertaining for you guys I think I will have a vote on a YouTube card so make sure to click that and vote whether you prefer uh, music throughout the whole episode or music just when the goals happen or no music at all just my commentary and the sound of the gameplay which one is the most preferable for you guys and also I have to apologize I made a mistake I accidentally deleted the last game's uh, gameplay footage which is a 2-0 loss at home to Aston Villa which is really really devastating to my to our title hopes because honestly after I beat Southampton 4-0 I, I was flying I was full of confidence and then Aston Villa rocked up at Anfield and with these harder than ultimate sliders it was an incredibly tough game they really gave me the run around and they pretty comfortably beat me too now so I, it's a shame that I can't show you that footage I apologize uh, sorry about that but we are still in third place and if we beat Tottenham in the next Premier League game uh, after the Newcastle game we can cut the deficit to just three points if we beat Newcastle as well so all hope is not lost on the title hopes and let me know if you want me to sign anybody else in the January transfer window I'm not sure whether I will make any more signings Aarons and uh, Gunn the new two new signings make their full debuts make their starting debuts for us in this game really pumped for this let's go welcome to Anfield the FA Cup starts against Cheltenham Town and I'm really pumped for this one or did we already play an FA Cup game? I'm not 100% sure. I think we did and now, now this is a really a must-win game. Cheltenham are in like the third or fourth division on FIFA 20. Shakiri, Origi, Sancho, oh Sancho, oh beautiful. Oh Vinadum has a touch and Vinadum scores! Get in there! 1-0 Liverpool, the perfect start and Vinadum, who is now one of the veterans of this team, gets us on up 1-0. Uh, really nice, this was all about Jadon Sancho and Vinadum wide open in the middle and he slots it home. Get in there! No! Ooh, gun. Angus gone. Yes! Ossiman! Body faint! And Victor! Ossiman! It's two! Oh, that was beautiful! Oh, the body faint worked perfectly! And Victor Ossiman, look at that celebration! That was beautiful! Yeah, this is how you should play against the lower league opposition, showing no mercy, clinical in front of goal. And now Ossiman, who hasn't played a lot of football this season, is on the score sheet. But of course, he is one of the stars of the future. Oh, 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 Shakiri, Shadon, Shakiri! Oh, it's over the bar. Oh, Ossiman. Oh, go on, Vinadu. Why do you not do a back here? Why do you turn? And that's why that uh, move didn't end up in a goal. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this. Oh, Sancho has to finish it. What a save or block. I'm not sure who it was. That was incredible. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. The commentators just said that Cavani signed for Napoli which is a very very interesting transfer because uh, of course Cavani joined Paris Saint-Germain from Napoli so he went back which is a very realistic transfer I could see that happening because Cavani just loved to be at Napoli the fans loved him go on see man make the run can he oh oh my goodness please Shakiri! what Shadon Shakiri, what on earth happened here? 
So let's make some substitutions. I want to bring on Alex Oxley Chamberlain instead of Vina Doom. Let's bring on Takumi Minamino because me and Minamino uh, needs some game time as well. And Osiman already scored. So let's bring on Ojo who has a lot of pace but his finishing is not the best. But I still want to give him some playing time to try him out. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my goodness, they scored! And now, now that put a spanner in the works. That puts the cat among the pigeons, as they say in England. Wow, I never expected that. I mean, I almost had the ball there. And that is actually a good finesse shot, even though I expected Gunn to make a little bit more effort to save it, but it's a very accurate shot. And what? Nice, Aaron's. Minamino! And my own player blocks my shot. Why does this still happen? EA, come on. What a throw. Yes, my to Alex Oxley Chamberlain. And I have to finish the game here. Jaden Sancho. Oh, beautiful. Sancho has to be. Yes! Another fantastic goal on the counter attack. And Sancho finally. Finishes the game up 3-1. I just love doing the body feint against the defender It's so effective and the defender has no clue whatsoever oh, Come on. Oh Wow Matip come on you need to mark that guy better Matip is just ball watching We got lucky that he didn't score there honestly Yes, oh yes. Oh yes Sancho can go all the way and the back post oh what a defensive i think Aaron's and angus gun made pretty decent debuts and also sancho simon and vina doing with the goals very happy with this win because we needed to beat cheltenham really we just couldn't afford to lose this one seven shots on target to three so we deserved it definitely and we really should have probably scored more goals and Sancho was the man of the match he scored and got an assist as well Minamino with an assist as a substitute is also decent every time I accept a transfer offer for Nathaniel Phillips he rejects the move so I don't know what else can I do and also this is a decent FC Admira Wacker we are an Austrian club have a four four hundred and ninety thousand pound offer for Kelleher and I will accept it because he's just surplus to requirements and also this youth academy player Joel Davis who is a CDM center back center midfielder 60 rated only I want to loan him out for as long as possible so let's try a two-year loan and yeah the maximum is a one-year loan that we can uh, get for him so I think this Scandinavian club Hamarby I think so yeah let's hope that he accepts the loan deal Wolves wiped the floor with Port Vale. Let's see if there are any big surprises in the FA Cup. Man City won, Everton, Man United won, Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal. So all the big teams went through. And we still have to wait for the replays to be completed. And some teams already played their games in this round, which means that Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal, Man City all won, and Man United as well. So everybody around us have won their game so we absolutely have to beat Newcastle United and especially after losing to lowly Aston Villa who are in mid table we have to beat Newcastle who are down in 15th place so I'm fielding my strongest possible lineup against Newcastle win this game and we go up to third place getting closer to Tottenham and we play Tottenham after this one so we can't afford to lose more points in this game so let's go welcome to Anfield Liverpool against Newcastle the Kenny Douglas T4 is out and wow is it foggy today at Anfield I wonder what this game will bring and Newcastle have former Liverpool players Adam Lalana and Andy Carroll so we have to be careful not to let them spoil our title hopes oh Knabi Keita wow Oh no! Sean Longstaff! Oh, thankfully he can't shoot really. Go on, Salah! Mohamed! Salah! This guy is incredible! Mohamed Salah! Honestly, 
But his left foot is unstoppable this season. Outrageous, out of this world, world class finish by Mohamed Salah. By far and away the best player in the Premier League. Nabi Keita also has a back heel assist in the build up. Beautiful football. And the finish is just glorious. I'm lost for words how to describe Salah this season. He could break all kinds of records in the Premier League. Salah record breaker, probably 23 goals already in the Premier League. In what, like 25? No! What have I done? Unbelievable! Andy Carroll hits the post and then San Maximin's header is saved by Alisson. Oh, and it was all because of my mistake. Thankfully we have world class Alisson in goal. Damn son, that was really, really stupid of me to actually gift Maximin the ball. Oh, oh, Hubbards! What a save! Come on, Trent Alexander-Arnold, what a save Dubrovka. Oh, what a pass. Richie, and I don't have a defender. No, oh, come on. Ah, oh, that is painful. Oh, in a stoppage time in the first half, San Maximin, the noodle hair, the San Maximin gets an equalizer. And when men met Richie, got that pass i was already sensing danger because yeah he was just so wide open and by the time i, I got close to him he passed it to maximum his first shot was blocked lalana almost got an assist oh the mistakes are incredible by newcastle and hubbard this shot is saved back to salah Femino has to be yeah! Oh, and did you see that the referee gave advantage and if he would have blown for the free kick we would have been denied the goal because here Salah is fouled and that first touch by Firmino is beautiful magical piece of play by our striker number nine Firmino great finish as well but I have to make substitutions because as you can see most of my players are pretty knackered pretty tired Kai Havertz is doing a really good job but let's play Dominic Soboslai in his place who hasn't played a lot of football recently oh no Lobotka oh he missed it but not by much Soboslai Referee! How can you not give that? What is up with the referee in this game? Go on, Firmino! Has to be the shit! Yes! It's game over! And in the second half stoppage time, Bobby Firmino, the hero of the match, seals the victory and take that referee. Go home and read the rule book because I honestly how the referee didn't give uh, the penalty for the Soboslay foul but it doesn't matter now Firmino with two goals seals the victory and boy this is, this is a big big free mode point yes boys it's a big big victory because we had to get closer to Tottenham just to have a chance of getting even closer to them in the title race we play league leaders Tottenham next and I think we deserve this victory again I could have probably should have scored more goals but Newcastle also had some chances, Alisson had to make some big big saves and Firmino of course he was the man of the match with two goals. Keita Fabinho got one assist each, decent game, really nice. Not really good news, Davis and Callagher both rejected their loan and transfer moves to the clubs that approached them, I'm not happy about this. But thankfully we have a loan offer for Yasser Larucci from Feyenoord, which is a pretty, pretty good, pretty decent offer. I think Feyenoord is a, one of the top three big clubs in the Netherlands, so if I was Larucci, I would take that, this loan offer. And let's loan him out for two years, because he's 20 years old, 66 rated already or only so i think he needs to get a lot of playing time to get better and we can negotiate a 60 40 wage split with feyenoord so we accept that and that's a really really good deal 
So this win was very important against Newcastle because as you can see we jumped up to third place and we are only six points behind Tottenham. If we beat them we can cut the deficit to just three points which is almost nothing in a Premier League title race. But if we lose to Tottenham then the deficit will be nine points and that will be a mountain to climb considering that, that Tottenham won 21 of their first 25 games so they are in an incredible run. Man City are also close to us so we need to keep the, our distance to Man City as well. Chelsea and surprisingly Everton and Leicester and West Ham are fighting to get into Europe, Arsenal and Wolves are also pushing for European places but it's weird to see Arsenal in ninth place but that's where they are in real life or about that place. West Brom and Fulham are in a very very tricky situation. They basically have to put a winning run together if they want to climb out of the relegation zone. Stoke still have a good chance to maybe overtake Crystal Palace. And we have Salah and Mane as our top scorers in the Premier League. Salah has 23 goals in the league which is a really really impressive number. He is just an incredible player. And also we have Firmino with 13 assists, Ox and Salah has 9 each. Thomas Müller who plays now for Man United has 9 assists as well. And clean sheet wise we are not very good. Angus Gunn got uh, 3 clean sheets in 8 games for Southampton so don't take that into consideration. And now let's check out the clubs and what kind of deals they made. Uh, so Bournemouth did a little bit of wheeling and dealing. Arsenal signed 2 big players Zapata and Murillo for £41 million combined and they needed that because Arsenal are really just in, in a ninth place, not good for them. Burnley also made some good transfers. Chelsea sold Pulisic, now that's a surprise, but they signed Alessandro Plea from Michan Gladbach. That's a really good signing for, for Chelsea. Crystal Palace also did some business. Everton, what on earth did Everton do? They sold, oh wow, they sold Carvert Lewin and Richard Lisson, two of their key strikers, I mean, and they signed nobody but sold everyone uh, who is uh, very important to Everton in both in attack and in defense Everton got a lot weaker that's a really really surprising move by Everton but sometimes this happens we signed two players and we we sold two players as you can see I wanted to sell more but they just didn't accept um, the transfers Man City didn't do any business Man United got stronger they sold they signed Lopez and Diop I think Diop is the West Ham centre-back, he's a pretty decent player with good potential and oh wow, Tottenham signed two players worth 80 million so even though Tottenham are table, they are in first place at the top in the Premier League they still want to get stronger absolutely incredible uh, transfer business by Tottenham and wow, Wolves sold their best centre-back Billy Bolly that's a little bit of a surprise so I'm searching the Everton squad and I want to see what kind of strikers they have so they still have Moise Keen and Cheng Tosun oh wow, they signed Sandro and Mateta so yeah that's why they probably sold two of their strikers because they already had too many strikers and both Mateta and Sandro are a very good age. Larucci's loan move has broken down as well. What is it with the young players not accepting loan moves in this career mode? I just don't understand that really. And I also want to show you our top scorers. So Salah is our top scorer with 27 goals in all competitions in 30 games. That's an incredible return. Mane has 15, Firmino has 13, Sancho Hovers has 9 goals each and Oxley chamberlain has 7. So we are sharing the goals around but Salah is by far the player of the season. He has been just outstanding. And in the next episode we will continue our Champions League campaign. We are playing Lazio in the Champions League round of 16. Really really excited about that. So here are the Champions League round of 16 fixtures. You will be able to see how these fixtures end up in the next episode. I'm really pumped actually because I, I didn't play Lazio I think ever before in a Liverpool career mode. So that will be a fresh new challenge for me. Real Madrid Tottenham. Juventus Dortmund, Milan, Man City, Inter Barcelona, Napoli Bayern, there are some tasty ties in the Champions League, really looking forward to it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, leave a like, thanks for watching, see you later, goodbye!